Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to take a look at SCP-1571, The Keeper of Treasures. This little guy falls under the object class of safe, so no need to worry about any containment breaches with this one. Let's dive in and see what makes this SCP so special. SCP-1571 is to be contained in a standard locker at Site-19. The locker must be equipped with a digital keypad lock and monitored at all times by security personnel. Access to SCP-1571 is restricted to Level 3 personnel and above, and any testing or interaction with the object must be approved by the site director. Any unauthorized personnel attempting to access SCP-1571 are to be detained and questioned. SCP-1571 is a small wooden chest, measuring approximately 30 cm x 20 cm x 15 cm. The chest is intricately carved with various symbols and designs, and radiates a faint aura of energy. When opened, SCP-1571 contains a seemingly endless array of valuable and rare treasures, including gold coins, gemstones, and precious artifacts from various cultures and time periods. The chest appears to be capable of producing any item that could be considered valuable or significant, regardless of its rarity or existence in the real world. Any individual who comes into contact with the treasures contained within SCP-1571 experiences a strong compulsion to possess and hoard the items. This compulsion becomes increasingly intense over time, eventually leading to the individual becoming obsessed with acquiring more and more treasures from SCP-1571. The effects of this obsession can be detrimental to the individual's mental and emotional well-being, often leading to paranoia, delusions, and a complete disregard for personal safety or morality. Attempts to remove items from SCP-1571 have proven unsuccessful, as the chest seems to replenish its contents almost immediately after an item is taken. The only known method of temporarily mitigating the effects of SCP-1571 is through the use of amnestic treatments, which can suppress the individual's memories and desires related to the object. Due to the dangerous and potentially harmful nature of SCP-1571, it is imperative that strict containment protocols are followed at all times. Any personnel exhibiting signs of obsession or compulsion related to the object must be removed from duty and undergo psychological evaluation and treatment. In the event of a containment breach or unauthorized access to SCP-1571, security personnel are authorized to use lethal force if necessary to protect the safety and well-being of staff and civilians. SCP-1571 has the ability to produce documents, small items, and photographs related to individuals close to the subject it is kept on. This effect is influenced by the subject's memory and current location. The items produced are valuable to the subject in terms of memorability or sentimental value, and are based on the subject's biases and perception of the object. The manifestation of new items appears to be triggered by emotional strain in the individual who most recently carried SCP-1571. In all controlled tests, individuals referred to in the items manifested by SCP-1571, with the exception of the subject who last handled it, are deceased. The SCP was initially recovered during a Foundation raid on a facility in West Virginia. Documents discovered during the raid indicated that Marshall, Carter, and Dark LTD had retrieved SCP-1571 as a donation and were preparing to destroy it after it affected several of the organization's clients. As of November 19, 1986, SCP-1571 has been contained and classified as safe. Documentation found with Secure Containment Procedures 1571 reveals that the wallet has been tested extensively and found to have minimal effects on its users. Testers have carried the wallet for months without any noticeable effects, and only upon returning home have they discovered photographs and items related to their personal lives, albeit altered in some way. The wallet has also produced items related to the family histories of testers, including photographs and a card referencing a deceased family member's birthday. At the time of recovery, 
Secure containment procedures, 1571 contained various items, including a receipt for an engagement ring, a ticket to the opera Ida, a photograph of an unidentified young man, a letter written in red ink, and a non-functional pocket watch with the Marshall, Carter, and Dark logo.